Right now at four, Rhode Island is pumping out the vaccine, expanding eligibility to include anyone over the age of 16. Appointments are filling up slower than weeks past. 12 News reporter Brandon Truitt live at the Dunkin Donut Center, where those lining up to get their shot looked a little younger today. Well, Brian, some of them were teenagers. In fact, those 40 and under have waited the longest to be able to get a shot. The question now is whether they'll actually get it. I feel relieved it was a piece of cake. Roughly 250,000 of the state's youngest adults became eligible this week, and those we spoke to today have been waiting on this moment for months. It feels a lot more safer now, and I feel like I can go to large, more public areas. Teenagers among the mix. Ekele Aso is a senior at Providence Career and Technical Academy. He's ready to get things back to normal. We're balancing between like COVID and being in person and like being virtual. So like, but we've been getting through a year like, you know, as best as we can. But the numbers show not everyone between 18 and 39 is as eager to get one. A recent NPR Marist poll finds 30% of Gen Z and millennials do not plan to get a vaccine. Travis Escobar is the founder of Millennial RI. He's hearing a few reasons behind the hesitancy, saying some of his members feel it was rushed or that their age protects them from severe COVID cases. Escobar reminding them of what's to gain. Traveling, concerts, you know, all the things that we, you know, maybe have took for granted before before COVID, those are things we're missing. Governor Dan McKee addressing the empty appointments today, saying the state is reaching the point where supply outpaces demand and they're working to get more people on board. When you're in sales, uh, when the phone stops ringing, you start dialing. I just checked and there are still dozens of appointments available here at the dunk for the four o'clock hour. If you're able to sign up online and get here before five o'clock, they could have an appointment for you. There are thousands of appointments available for tomorrow. Of course, we know, guys, you go to vaccinateri.org to make an appointment, Brian. And Brandon, we're also getting new numbers today showing where Rhode Island stands now nationally with vaccine distribution. What are you learning there? Yeah, Brian, this is data from the CDC, and it shows that Rhode Island is really leading the way when it comes to vaccinating its oldest adults. The numbers show us that Rhode Island placed top of the list for vaccinating people 65 and older, nearly 80 percent. That's ahead of the national average of just 66 percent in that same category. The same review put Rhode Island top five for first doses, 45 percent of the population compared to the national average of 40 percent. It is high marks for populations at higher, highest risk. The state now admits they have work to do to get younger adults uh, to get the vaccine, Brian. Live in Providence, tracking these numbers now for months. Our thanks to you, Brandon.